Man, did I listen to the crap out of this album. <laughs> Me too. Jeez, old Pete. Good concert, too. They, uh, let's mm-hmm. see, I'm trying to think who opened up for them. It may they have been. opened up for them in uh, New Hampshire. Well, Broadway. can I tell my story? No. <laughs> Go ahead. I believe it was uh, Bad English. Oh. Well, I think. Um, and you say the Colt opened up? Did they have opening uh, acts there? To yep. Who were some of the smaller acts you saw that maybe became a little bit more popular? Oh, the Black Rose. Oh, really? Yeah, the Black Rose, Ooh. huge. Yeah. Um, how were they? Uh, cool. They're a little bit. Uh, no one had heard of them. So right. Yeah. You know, and a little different than the hard rocker. Yes. Right. Yeah. A little, yeah. little softer. But it was. Uh, they're they're a good band. They before they got strange and weird and hippie and all that stuff. They were. Um, pretty good. <laughs> now, we were talking in the break, and I asked you who published this. You did self-publishing for yes. your book, Castle Stories. Um, well, first of all, why did you go that route, and then how was it? Well, I went that route because I'm like the Lars Ulrich of, well, I want control of everything. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you're very Metallica-minded, aren't <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah. Because, yeah, you have complete control over everything you do. If you go the other way, then, you know, you have Big Daddy standing over your shoulder and Plus, it's easier to get rights and you know releases and stuff because you just stick it in there. You know, you right. Don't, you don't ask everybody for it. Is it all right if I you know say your name and all that stuff? So legalities. Um, and then there's a section of the book here. Where you got a lot of pictures, of course, um, and ticket stubs and whatnot. Uh, you saw the Motor City Madman, Fog Hat. Loved Fog Hat. Ario Speedwagon was okay. What'd you think of them? I didn't see. I didn't see them. That's just yeah. the ticket stub collection, I believe. Oh. So some of these you haven't seen. Uh, John actually, Cougar, the, Hart? Yeah, wow. there's, there's stories in the book from other people also. Like this, div, this kind of divided my stories and your stories. Crazy stories from somebody else. What what comes to mind? Oh, uh, my friend Jill from Man- Man- Mancelona, is that it? Oh, Mancelona. Yeah. Yes. Home of wild, the Iron Man. Wild, yeah. A wild town or whatever. She has an interesting story in there. Uh, what's, his, what's it entitled? Ask, grass, and a backstage pass. Well, I'm sorry. Run that by me again. Ask, grass, and a backstage pass. <laughs> So that, you know, explains Sweet. yeah, explains how she got the, the backstage pass, and mm-hmm. she just got the book last week or whatever, and she emailed me and, and she's listening right now, I think. Yeah. She, she told me, uh, "Oh, my mother can't believe that I put my name in there, and, you know, because you know there's right. sexual stories in there, so, <gasps> and drugs and all that stuff." But. What? Come on! Come on, Mom. Um, it was the '80s. What is this, Kenny G? <laughs> Listen to this lineup, Mel. Ready? Okay. Yes. Kenny G, Amy Grant. Ozzy Osbourne and the Doobie Brothers. On uh, one bill? No, it's uh, a slate of uh, like June thirtieth, July first, July seventh. Oh, Kenny That's G, yeah. come on! Oh, an Oz fest right there. How was the Kenny G concert? Oh, I don't get to say. No, <laughs> it was loud. <laughs> he can really belt it on his yeah, clarinet. He, he wails. Oh my gosh! And then Amy Grant, and then following Amy Grant, uh, about a week later. Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, yeah. both sides of the spectrum. Here you have sweet little um, born yeah. again Amy Grant, and then Ozzy Osbourne, you know, the yeah. prince of effing darkness, as it says right here. Yes, yeah. What, did he bite the head off of anything when you? No, saw him? he didn't actually. He was quite, no, really. No, and if, was, if you read the chapter, that's the kind of the longest chapter in the book. You know, I go yeah. into going on Ozzy's bus, uh, meeting Ozzy, meeting Jack Osbourne. You know, the whole uh, the whole clan, the whole clan. Yeah. How were they? Oh, very cool. Really? Yeah, Ozzy was still uh Was he a little coherent. Easy? He was coherent? Yeah, he wasn't, yeah. So could you would... understand him? Yes. Really? Well, he probably couldn't understand us because, we're, you know, we're babbling, babbling away. So, you know, when you meet Ozzy, you're kind of in, in awe. And how was the bus? The bus was just like you see on TV, the same. Is this him? That's Ozzy there, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. You don't even recognize him. And that's me there, too, in the skinnier skinnier days wow that blows me away man homeboy party didn't he yeah i mean he really kind of got after it but uh you had jack i was jack with him and jack was just a little kid so i think they were he was on the on the wagon then oh he was i believe so yeah. yeah and things back then were much different as far as being approachable it yes. wasn't like it is today, where you could probably never ever do anything like this nope. i mean well i remember they, where i parked for the white snake concert i was pretty much like backstage well Surprisingly, where the buses were, yeah, in 87. Now you can never do that. No. Right. Now, now no one wants to sign anything because of eBay. It's always, you know, that's going right. to be on eBay yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So. 
um, Charlevoix Productions presents the Scorpions. So they now, uh, what kind of security do they have at this thing? Because things got pretty wild. Was uh, it like city cops? They, yeah, they, they had, they had the, uh, the mounted the, wasn't like the when, mounted police there outside. It wasn't like Altamont where they had the bl- Blue Angels. Blue Angels? Blue Angels. Jeez, no. hell, like, Hell's Angels. Blue Angels something Maybe different. they should have had the uh, b- Blue Angels doing security. It wasn't anything like that, was it? No. No. Some they had the, fat the, the guy got beat to death. <laughs> no, they had the mounted po- the mounted police out there. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, on the, on See, the horses, mount- yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And they busted a lot of people for peeing in public. I guess peeing in Charlotte was, County is was bad. That, well, yes, yeah. really, yeah. yeah. Opposed to all the other things going on. Yeah, that's actually why I got my mugshot was uh, peeing in public, but no. Don't pee in public yeah. in Charlotte. You <laughs> don't pee in public here in Charlevoix. Yeah, apparently um, that's a big issue. You can drive around drunk and you can do all kinds of crazy... T- you know, driving you start, the houses, don't pee. But once you start whizzing in the whizzinator. Wow. Excellent. Well, no Kevin Essebiggers this morning. It's too bad. I was well, looking forward to... the phone rang, to... and I couldn't get anybody on the other line, so... What are you talking about? Out. You can't operate the phones now all of a sudden? What What happened? No, so you, I you up pre- the phone, you... and there was no one on the other line. Uh-huh. You peeked there in. There was no one there. I all didn't. right. All right. Dwayne, stay with us. Legalize this mail. 1270 AM WMKT, Charlevoix, Driver City, and the UP, and 92.1 FM, W221BQ, Potosky, Harbor Springs. Still, I didn't peek him. Still to come on the show, <laughs> Kelly, my dental hygienist, it's Dental Health Month. She's an Elk Rapids girl and works for a dentist here in Traverse City, my dentist, in the interest of full disclosure. And then Dwayne will stay with us from uh, 11 to 11.30. This is the Vic McCarty Show. We'll be right back.